The sport of downhill mountain biking has never seen a rider like the one I'm going to meet today. In 2011, he laid down one of the greatest race runs in the history of the sport to become world champion for the first time. He won that race by nearly 12 seconds. Absolutely astonishing. Fast forward to 2016 and the same man is making history again. Three World Cup wins on the bounce and then a World Championship title. His second on the back of that. Who is it? It's none other than Danny Hart. Morning, Dan. Hey, Rob, how are we doing? Yeah, right, yeah. Couldn't have quit. Looks like I caught you at a bad time. Just putting the work in, aren't I? It's paying off. How often do you come here? I'll come down here once, twice a week. Do you think you could perform at the level you do without this sort of training now? No, definitely not. Them tracks we're racing, you know, you've got to be firing on all cylinders and it's just torture sometimes. How scientific is it these days? I think cycling in general, not just downhill, yeah. has gone very scientific. It's a game of science now, and I think introducing this with these guys has just helped us take that to the next level. You can't rely on the results of last season, particularly in a sport like downhill. You know, you can be up and you can be down yeah. just as quick. It's going to be the hardest part of it is to carry on where I left off, so I need to work even harder to get that. Yeah, a lot of pressure on your shoulders this coming season. Is that right? <laughs> you are the most mellow downhill racer I've ever met, right? I mean, you're still only 25, twice a world champion. You've smashed records in the sport all the way along. What, what motivates you for the future? What, what, what do you want to do now? I just enjoy riding my bike. Would it mean anything to you to be the first Brit to be three times a world champion and join a very, very elite club? Yeah, I guess it would for a bit, yeah, but it's just one of them things, isn't I've it? I've never met anyone like you, honestly. You're quite private, you don't get caught up in all the hype at the races. You I start my own way, I wouldn't have to do all this stuff and I'd just be a Jedi. <laughs> Come on. Let's go, let's go. Push, push, push. Keep it going. Oh, that was a good one, look at that. Oof. So I'm driving now to the northeast of the UK to Redcar, to Danny Hart's hometown, where we're going to meet his dad, Paul. Now, Paul isn't just Danny's dad, he's also his team manager in what is probably quite an interesting combination. He's been there every step of the way in Danny's career. He's an integral part of his team, and I want to find out how he got Danny to this point and where they're going in the future. I think I've got the right house. Danny Hart, 16-1. He'd be a brave man to argue with that number plate. Let's see if he's in. How are you, Paul? Oh. All right. All right, Rob. Nice you to see right? you. How are we in? I'll stick the kettle on. Well, any discerning father has a bit of their son's silverware in the front room? Yeah, there's a few there, but... Um, Not all of them, I guess. So I bet there's 200 in the loft. <laughs> 200 in the Look loft, at yeah. Look yeah. slowly sinking. What? got you and him into mountain biking. Where did it all start? It started with BMX. Good at it, was he? Yeah, he was good at it, but he wasn't big enough. He wasn't big enough. He's a small lad, isn't he? Yeah. Diminity, he's a little yeah. lad now still. So, yeah, it started off in BMX, and I realised it, it wasn't going anywhere. You said to me, when he was a little lad, you said to me that Danny has got to make it at downhill. You said to me he's got to make it at this, because he ain't got nothing else. No, he didn't no. really apply himself at school like most kids, like a lot of the top downhillers, actually, and people in sport, he no, no. would have rather been out riding his bike, right? Oh, certainly. I mean, when we realised, you know, that, yeah, there's a glimmer there, we just went for it. Does it cause problems? Like, you know, you have a father-son relationship like anyone else, but on top of that, you're his manager. Now, would it be fair for me to say that perhaps your approach to Danny's management is a little bit unorthodox because there's so much passion behind it. I think that's fair to say. Oh, yeah, 100%. I've pushed him, 
but I've tried to push them in the right direction. I know there's loads of people who've, who think maybe I've, I've pushed them too hard, but... It's Danny Hart, who has took his third World Cup win in a row. He's going to be the most successful British rider. He's on his way. Yeah. Can he win again this year? Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. This is the Arcade Skate Park in Redcar. This is Danny Hart's original stomping ground. This is where it all started from, and he's here now. Let's go and find out a bit more. Is it fair to say, Danny, that without this establishment, without you know facilities like this, you might not be the man you are today? You might not be downhill world champion? Yeah, it's crazy to think just coming here was the start of me the start of the rest of my life, if you like, from when I was seven, eight years old. I always tell kids, you know, riding BMX is always a good start for you to, yeah. to learn your trade, if you like. Is it nice as well? Because I guess they're your mates, so they treat you as Danny Art, not yeah, yeah. Danny Art, the two-time world mountain bike yeah, champ. Yeah, totally. A lot of the time, I'll end up sitting in the cafe drinking tea and coffee for an hour. It's just a good laugh. Yeah. Yeah, nice way to get away from it, but still yeah, ride a bike a little bit. Yeah, and like I said, I'm just a normal kid in here who's been coming in here forever. I tell you what, you show me what you got. And I'll go and get my bike, because I'm red hot in a skate park. go and get it. I'm going to go and get it, yeah. Right, I'll yeah. see you over there in five. Yeah, we'll be there in a minute, honestly. Yeah, go. Let's see, what, yeah, let's see what you got. Go. This has got to be Danny's house. No one else around here is going to have a bulldog in the rainbow stripes on the front. Hello, Dan. Hello, Rubes. Hello. How are you? Sorry. How are you doing, Rob? All right, mate. Hello, Safe. How are you? Yeah, all right. So we're going to go riding, are we? Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Shall we take the camper? Yeah. Lovely. Oh, yeah, great. So this was home for the summer, is it? This is where you base yourself at the yeah, races. This is it pretty much, you know, it's a bit of a home from home and pack a van from the house and that it's, it's wicked. Come on, Sophie, let's go. Is that rough that pub? Starting game. Oh, the pub, no, no. No, it's nice isn't it? Is it? The Queen often travels up and has a drink in there. Yeah, I believe that. Right, Sophia, so you're Danny's girlfriend. Where did you two meet? Was it Tinder? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I used to race motocross, and Danny's a super fan of motocross, so... Uh, like all we mountain met, bikers. Yeah, at the track, really. You know, as well as just being his girlfriend, though, but you, like, you are a, really are a team when it comes to the racing, aren't you? Yeah, he really needs someone to tell him, right, you need to do this, this and this, so he could just think about his riding. So. Yeah. I do pretty much everything for him, as in, like, I even set his goggles up, so he doesn't, yeah. does not have to worry about anything. Do you ever give him advice, perhaps, if he's had a bad run or something? I'm, you know, what I'm trying to find out is, do you sometimes clash as well? Do you argue sometimes? Because um, it's a high, high-pressure environment that you work in. I can only remember one time this year I learned never to get involved again, <laughs> as in... <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So your first season with Danny would have been 2015. Yeah. When I guess by his standards he didn't have the best year. Does he get depressed? I mean, does he ever give up or how is he? No, he doesn't get depressed and certainly doesn't give up because he just loves riding his bike. But um, I think he'd lost belief in himself. He generally thought that was his position and he didn't think that he could do any better than that. No. That's what it seemed from the outside. He would probably never admit that, but no, that's what it that's seemed how like. You felt. Yeah. In 2015, he did get a podium at Lords. Yes. And he was happy with that result. And I remember his dad saying, "You shouldn't be so happy about that. You should only be happy if you're winning." And I remember thinking <laughs> it was a bit harsh, but it's absolutely true at the same time. Has the success at the end of last year made him unbearable around the house? Has he changed at all? No. Or you paused? No, no, no. <laughs> I was just no. I was just thinking like he hasn't now. It's all changed. Not at all. Well, I can see we're nearly here now. Danny Hart's Descent Bike Park, right? Yeah. 
And, you know, with him being world champion and him taking over this fight park, what's happening? There are people coming from all over. I think we had a guy come from Australia. What? Ride, yeah. No way. Yeah. And how is he with everyone? I mean, does he like the attention he gets? Has he got time for people or is it work for oh, him when he's yeah. at the bike park? He has all the time in the world for everybody. But he's he's always, like, trying to put across, I'm, I'm just normal, I'm just like you guys. And, like, yeah. he doesn't think that he's, like, something so great, but he needs to remember to these kids and also to a lot of adults, he really is oh, yeah. an inspiration. Well, I'm looking forward to riding with him anyway. Does he slow up when he's got punters with him or? His slow is probably your fast, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> oh well. Dan, you're going to go steady or what? No, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been riding here? Well, a lot of years now, probably since I was like 11 or something like that. Yeah, but it's been a, a big element to really? my yeah. success, I guess. I said to your dad, a few days ago, I was like on the phone. I said, How good is it here? And he said, Well, it's good enough for Danny to become world champion twice. <laughs> and now you own it. Is this the future for you when you finish racing, Dan? Yeah, I believe so. It's always good to have something for when I'm done, and it's good to put something back into what's helped me out yeah. so much over the years. So. All right, you better go first. Do you know this track quite well? Don't go mad. Once I get going, it's hard not to. Is it? Go. Oh. Hey, slow down a bit, Danny. Already gone. Proper day in a proper British bike park. I can see where you've got all your skills. It's brilliant, isn't it? It's got a bit of everything in here. Yeah, we breed them hard up north. Jumps, roots, rocks. Yeah. You name it, we've got it here, so. I've really enjoyed it, mate. Good luck. Cheers, Thanks a lot, dude. Mate. Thank you. Looks like you've got football boots on. Don't you like them? I think they're sick. Pretty fast. Careful. You can't keep up, you know, just, just shout, I'll slow down for you. <laughs> <laughs> 